Lord, Shalom all. We want to give all glory and praise to Yahweh, uh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh be the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai be the name of the one and only begotten Son. Uh, we wanted to kind of go into uh, a lot, little bit more about, you know, concerning some of the false doctrines that we've been seeing. And then we're going to go into some other things concerning uh, current events. Uh, our channel was under, uh, basically, not suspension, but we had to do what we had to do to keep it away from being having any issues. It's so, closed. yeah, it's closed. Okay. So, and as you know, we do have two other pages: Church of Yahweh Shot, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot Ba, and Spiritual Art of War. We also have Church of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot as lit. Uh, so, if you check the the main video on the channel. When you go on our channel, we have a video that basically deals with the backup channels as well. So that way y'all can check them out. So that way y'all can keep up to date with us as well concerning, you know, what's going on in today's age. But we're going to go ahead and go first into the creation of man because there's a doctrine out there saying that Adam was created on the fifth day, which is a false doctrine. All right. So what we're going to do is the brother's going to go into it and we're going to bring out some precepts to, uh, to go against that false doctrine. Right. We start at we start at Genesis chapter one and uh, verse verse twenty. And Yahweh said, "Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures that have life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven." Verse twenty one. And Yahweh created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind, and God saw that it was good. So verse 19, where I started at, was, was the beginning of the fifth day, because if you would go up to verse 19, eight, verse 19 he, was, he said that he, he was ending the, the, of the fourth day. So when I started at verse 19, it was the beginning of the fifth day. And, it's, and he said that he created all the, all the creatures of the waters. And did he also say the fowls of the air? Yeah, all the creatures of the water and all the fowls of the air. Mm -hmm. Now, some brothers have been saying that when he said all the creatures, he thought that he's meaning like mankind was created on that day, which is false, man. Because mankind was not created on the fifth day, he was created on the sixth day, as the prophet Ezra also backed up Genesis when he stated. Because we can get it in Second Ezra and then get into uh, those creatures that was created out of the water. Yeah, yeah, we'll get it. Second Ezra, yeah. Oh. I read that verse 21 already uh, in Second Ezra. It says, I mean, in, in Genesis, Genesis 2 and 21, and God created great wells and every living creature that moveth which the water brought forth abundantly. So, if you believe that you were, that that mankind was created on the fifth day, you would believe that we came up out of the water, which is false, man. Yep. And I didn't heard the brother say because we was in the our mother's womb and we was compacted in what water. But the scripture said in wisdom of Solomon we was compacted in blood and water. So, brothers is just misconstruing the doctrine, man, mm -hmm. which is pretty simple. And, and it's plain and straightforward, man. You want to get that second edge of six? And, yeah, uh, yeah, let me get that. Keep preaching. Yeah. yeah, let me go ahead yeah, and we'll go back to man. That was, we'll go get that one first, yeah. This is second edge of six and 47. Upon the fifth day, uh -huh. thou saidest unto the seventh part where the waters were gathered, that it should bring forth living creatures. Right, that's what I just read in Genesis, in verse uh, 2 and 21. Yep. I'm sorry, it's like it, 1 and 21. Fowls and fishes, and so it came to pass. So this is birds and fishes. And fish. Nothing about mankind being made, being created. Yep. And without light brought forth living things as the commandment of God, that all people might praise thy wondrous works. That's right. That's the exact same thing with Genesis saying, man. The exact same thing. The fowl 
of the air and the creatures of the sea was made on the fifth day. Yep. Yeah, that's why I said that, that everybody may praise that wondrous works because when you watch some documentaries on like the ocean and all of the creatures in the sea, they had what's that called? What was that? What was that documentary called? The Planet Joint? Yeah, I know what you mean. It was like yeah. the, it's pretty much the highest, the most popular like nature documentary probably of all time. Yeah. Every, everybody, I like yeah. that thing. Yeah. And it was on Blu-ray back then, right. you know, and everybody was watching it and it was basically showing all the creatures that were in the sea. That's right. You had the land creatures, you had the birds, you had the insects, and everybody was is amazed and praising what? The wonderful That's works right. of, of the Most High. Yep. Get the Bohemian. Yeah, we're gonna get there. It's actually oh, coming up next. Right. This is uh then this is verse 49. Then didst thou ordain two living creatures, the one thou callest Enoch, and the other Leviathan, and did this separate the one from the other from the seven part, namely where the water were gathered together, might not hold them both. And that creature, Enoch, is not talking about a man. And it's going to clear that up in the scriptures. Yeah, you can get that in uh, Job 40. The Job, I'm going I'm to read it, you can get Job 40 and 15. And uh, Job 40 and 1. But like, you know, brothers, brothers been pushing this doctrine, man, for too long. Verse 51, unto Enoch thou gavest one part which was dried up the third day, that he should dwell in the same part wherein are a thousand hills. But unto Leviathan thou gavest the seventh part, namely the moist, and it has kept him to devour whom thou wilt and when. So that's the ending of the fifth day. Now, the brother's going to go ahead and get that in Job 40 and 15. I think it's going to be either the Bible or the Yeah. Uh, let's see. I might even start off with a higher problem. Start up, start it's up like one, verse one. Yeah. This is um, Job. You said forty. Yeah, forty. Like forty one is like Yeah, forty. Yeah, forty one is the Bible. Forty and fifteen. Yeah. 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 Book of Job, chapter forty and verse fifteen. Behold now, Bohemia, which I made with thee. He eateth grass as an ox. So man don't eat grass as an ox. It's talking about an animal. Yeah. A man dwelling animal. Yeah, and Enoch, this Enoch is not talking about an actual man. Right. Because what a lot of these guys are saying is that this particular Enoch that was that was put in the place of a thousand hills was actually man that was created. And then and and basically made him now and saying that that's him. But if you go into other translations of the of the apocrypha, it calls him behemoth. Oh, behemoth. It calls him behemoth. This that's is the right. same behemoth that was created. That was created. That's, that's talked about right here. And even right. in, in, in some Bibles, in the in the ledger, they will actually put an ad, a, what's it called there, letting you know that that actually supposed to mean behemoth. Yep. Because the translators just used the name Enoch as the best translation that they can do going from Greek to English. That's but right. if you're going from Hebrew to English, they always translate it to Behemoth. Oh, hey. They don't translate it to Enoch because Enoch is going to have a different Hebrew word than Behemoth. That's right. Behemoth is Bahamoth. You go into the... Um, and they, they, didn't, they didn't use it. In fact, I'm going to get there real quick. Go ahead and read more about that. Uh, about that. Let me get a blue letter. Verse 16, Lo, now his strength is in his loins, and his force is in the, in the navel of his belly. He moveth his tail like a, like a cedar. Men don't have tails, man. The sinews of his stones are wrapped together. His bones are a strong piece of brass, his bones are like barbs of iron, man. 
We're talking about a, 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 a large animal uh, with, a lot of strength. with a lot of strength, which is your so-called dinosaurs, man. Yep, yep. That's what it's talking about. Yep, it's not man. Now, I'm going to show them real quick. This is the Strong H930 behemoth, and it says here, perhaps an extinct dinosaur, a brachiosaurus, exact meaning unknown. And it says, again, yeah, the same thing. So here it is, perhaps an extinct dinosaur. Strong's H930. That's in Job 40 and 15. Okay. Keep going. Keep reading. His bones are strong as pieces of brass. His bones are like bars of iron. He is the chief of the ways of God. He that made him can make his sword to approach unto him. Surely the mountains bring him forth food where all the beasts of the field play. He lieth under the shady trees in the cover of the reed and fins. The shady trees cover him with shadow. The willows of the brook could pass him about. Behold, he drinketh up a river, and hasted not. He trusted that he can draw up Jordan into his mouth. He taketh with his eyes, his nose pierces, pierces through snares. So he, he can't be trapped, man. This animal is so big, he can't be trapped. Yeah, yeah. He can't be contained. Yep. He, he consumes large, uh, large amounts of water. Yep at one time. Yep. So this is clearly not talking about a man. Yep. It's talking about a, 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 a basically a very powerful creature. This is yep. the chiefest of his animal creation. That's right. Of his creations as far as animals. Uh -huh. Outside of man, this is his best this is his best creation out of all his other out of all those creatures. That's right. Then he goes into Bohemia in the next chapter. 41, that's Leviathan. Yeah, Leviathan. Yeah, so he's going to read about Leviathan. Verse four, uh, chapter 41 and verse 1. Canst thou draw out Leviathan with a hook, or his tongue with a cord which thou, thou leftest down? Can thou put a hook into his nose, or bore his jaw through with a, with a thorn? Will he make many supplications with unto thee? Will he speak soft words unto thee? Will he make a covenant with thee? Will thou take him forth for a servant forever? Will thou play with him as with a bird? Or will thou bind him for thy mates? Meaning this is not a this is not a, a animal that you can just go fish out the waters with a hook and, and bring him onto land yep. or contain him as a pet in a cage for your woman. Yep. This is this is not that type of animal, man. This is on the fifth day. The fifth day. This is all on the fifth day. And 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 you, you, you just can't understand that man was not created on the fifth day, man. It's, it's no supporting argument with that. Yep. That's man-made doctrine, man. That's all it is. It's time to put that stuff to rest, man. Yeah, a lot of these guys are doing it because they're trying to be, they're trying to appear wise in front of Israel, but you make yourself look uh -huh. like a fool. Uh -huh. and, and they don't want that, what you said earlier, they don't want that seventh day to be the Sabbath. Yeah. They don't want that seventh day to be the Sabbath. Yeah, that's, that, that's where that motivation comes from, man. When yeah. you got these guys like Tahar that go, that go and push out the Babylonian Sabbath, and now when you go into the creation, it tells you that he hollowed the seventh day. And that, that the reason why we're to keep the Sabbath, which is every seven days, was a perpetual covenant. Yep. For all generations, until right. those high, signifying that he's the one that sanctifies us. Right. That's why you keep it. But you go and you change it up because if you wanted, you, you wanted to, uh, you wanted to have, uh, be like Montel Jordan. Yes. And, and this is how we do it on a Friday night. Yeah. That's the reason why you had to come out with that doctor because uh -huh. you can't have that fun no more. That's it. That's the reason why that's where that came about. Guys was losing out on being able to hang out. And, being, uh, and wanted to do partying, be at bars, do what they wanted to do on their day off instead of basically resting, having a couple. Hey, we have uh, conference calls. Brothers watch, might watch lessons, read, teach their family, yeah. teach their kids. That's what you're supposed to be doing on the Sabbath day. Ready? 
Yeah, that was it on that. I'm gonna go back in Genesis. Yeah, go back in Genesis. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go back to that. Now we just said red when he created on the fifth day. On the fifth day. At verse 22. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply. He's not talking about man here, he's talking about those animals he created, the animals in the water and the animals and the fowls. And the, fowls. Yeah, the, hot, the air animals. Yeah. 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 And fill the waters in the seas and let fowl multiply in the earth. It's plain, man. Mm -hmm. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And then verse 24, and God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping things, and beasts of the earth after his kind, and it was so. Verse 25, and Yahweh made the beasts of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and God saw that it was good. So the Most High is right here. On the sixth day, the first thing he did was create the other animals. Because remember, the fowls are the birds. Right. The, the, the fishes, meaning anything that's in the sea. Uh -huh. Including Leviathan. Leviathan was one of the sea creatures that was created the, 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 the strongest and the biggest and the most magnificent of all of the sea creatures. Then he created the other creatures, the right. other fishes, right. which includes regular fishes, clean and unclean, Yep. Right? Sharks, whales, all those things are, are in the fish family. That's Fishes right. are animals that dwell in water. That's it. The, so, and then he had the birds, the winged animals that fly. That fly. Now the next level is the other animals, right? Uh -huh. The other animals, like now, would probably be your amphibian animals too. That's right. Your creepy things, meaning yeah. your lizards, your reptiles, oh, that, that's what it is. your snakes, yep. right? Yep. Your crocodiles. I'll just tell you, everything, they, 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 the creatures, that, that creeping things, creeping like crawly things, like yep. insects, yep. created all those. Yep. And your beast of the earth. Yep. Like going to like, your cattle and your animals and that type of stuff. Yeah, your zebras. Yeah. Your, your giraffes. Your, your, your cat families, yeah. your dog families, meaning your wolves, yep. your hyenas, your your dogs. And don't get it misconstrued in chapter in verse 23 where he say the evening and the morning were the fifth day. That don't mean he's starting to go into the fifth day. Yep. That, that it was it, word, it, it's over. It's over. Word is past tense. And how you know that? Because second Ezra say it was, the, it was the sixth day yep. when mankind was created. Yep, yep. But you'll get it. day he created the other animals before he created man right so you can't even say that yep. it was some kind of mis some yep. kind of uh mis miscommunication yep. in the scriptures this is clear. because before he created man he created the other animals like we described yep because he said he and gave man rulership over yeah he saved the best for last <laughs> so they, yeah they had to be here first how is he gonna have anything he's gonna in order for man to create he's got to be able to eat something yeah he needs to be able to eat the fruits, the vegetables, the beasts. He needs to be able to herd. He needs to be able to name them. That's right. The Most High put them on here because they had their own ecosystem. Even Esau teaches y'all that. In the school system, which man already knows that, the man, we already know that going back to the beginning, That's that right. everything works on the ecosystem. If you want to have flowers growing, you need to have the bees. You want to have certain trees growing, birds are going to pick up seeds in their mouth and they're going to Transform. That's why the fowls had to come first. That's right. After the vegetation was made. Yep. Because who was going to pollinate? That's right. Who was going to pollinate it? It was going to be 
the fowls. The fowls is gonna go and pick up seeds and they're gonna be dropping them in different places around the earth to keep it spread out. That's right? right? Yeah, that's right. Think about how what the most high did in his, in his ingenuity, in his, in his manifold wisdom of why he had those things come before man. Yeah, so that's basically what it is. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go into the Ezra's. That's right. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse 53. Upon the sixth day thou gavest commandment unto the earth that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things. Same thing. Beasts, right. cattle, and creeping things. Okay? The insects, could be snails. What do you got? Well, you know, all those things. Reptiles, lizards, yep. turtles, all of that. But some turtles don't live all the time in the water. They're That's not right. fish, they're not fish. That's right. Turtles are not fish. They come out and they go back in. Some of them are freshwater. Yep. Some of them dwell in oceans. Some of them dwell in lakes. Some of them dwell in rivers. Yep. And then they come back out out of the water and because they can breathe on them, they right. can go back and forth. They're reptilians. That's it. That's what I, uh, so those are what, the, what those creeping things were, in, were more than likely insects or amphibians and what? Right. And reptiles. So how can you say that man was created on the fifth day when it's clear, man, what Ezra is saying, man? And it, it lines up exactly with, with, with Genesis. It lines up perfectly with Genesis. I'd like to see how they explain that second edge was what Edge was saying. I got maybe Edge don't have authority authority over him like like Paul. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, peep this, Doc. <laughs> when you look up the word for uh, creeping things in uh, Genesis, this is in this is in verse 24, Genesis 1 and 24. Creeping thing, strong H. Hold on. So the strong H. 74 and 31. It's uh, Ramash. So Ramash. That's creeping things, moving things, creeping organisms. Is it. Creeping things, gliding sea animals. So that's basically like animals that can swim, more than likely things like that can swim in the sea and come out yeah. of the water yeah. and stay on land, which is like reptiles, yeah. like the turtles. Reptiles, right? and, uh, like your uh, Salamanders. seals maybe, or something like that. Amphibian seals. Yeah. But look what the New Living say. Penguins. Verse 24. Then God said, let the earth produce every sort of animal, each producing offspring of the same kind livestock, small animals that scurry along the ground, and wild animals, that is what happened. Yep. Come on. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock, and small animals, each able to produce offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Yep. And then another one in the, in the strong definition of the same word, it says here, a reptile or any other rapidly moving animal that creepeth, that creeping thing that moves around. Right. Meaning creeping, meaning that it crawls, it moves. It moves on earth. Meaning it has feet. Yeah. To creep, man, means that you, you're using your your your, you, you, your you, feet, your you, hands. You're low to the ground. Yeah. Whatever is it's something low to the ground. Yeah, like so low creeping, to the ground. Creeping. That's yeah. what it means. It's a it's a like an animal or an insect that's low to the ground. And scurry, like I think it says, scurry in there, like something that moves quick and swift on the ground, and it's low to the ground. Come on, man. It's like I'm gonna go to the etymology of them. Palestinians, not him. Come through this side. Like you read that part about the second edge? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go to the uh, man. 
Now, this is doctrine of rest. Now, it's like the brother was saying earlier, this is a uh, verb for creep. Right. To move the body, to move the body near or along the ground. The brother was saying, low. Oh, to the ground. Man. As a reptile or insect does. This is a uh, second as a six, and we'll just go down to verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Right. Made on the sixth day after the creation of all the other animals, all the other organisms that live, the most high, at the end of the sixth, towards the, after all those things, on the sixth day, right, created Adam, and like the brother said, created male and female, created he them. Just And he said he was going to give them dominion over all the creatures of earth, just like he just read in second edge. Yep. It matches right up with Genesis. It goes hand in hand, man. Yep. There ain't no way around it. If you say something different, you're pushing false doctrine, man. It's simple. False doctrine. Yeah, that's not what's hidden. That, that's, yeah. not, that's not nothing deep to go into, man. Yep. Yahweh made his words plain in Genesis, bro. And this is why these other, uh, this is reason why uh, some of these other people, they're not, they're, they're, these um, other nations that read this, and this is plain, it's plain and simple. Yeah. And when they see y'all say that man was created on the fifth day, they laugh right. at you. And they see, they, they, they feel even more that you're not the people. And another thing, prove, prove that it was a Canaanite talking to Eve in the garden, man. Yeah. I mean, you guys, you, you, you be saying some stuff, you guys be pushing these doctrines out there, man, with no proof, man. Yeah. No biblical proof. We're not saying that there wasn't another man there. Right. But the serpent was the one who was in the scriptures talking to Eve. That's right. Now, um, there, I know what yeah. they're using, though. They're using, um, they're using that one that says, Thou was in the garden. Uh-huh. Uh, talking about the Prince of Tyree. Yeah. The Yah was in the garden of Saul, the majesty, and the what's, whatever. But you got to be very careful how you present it and bring that out. That's right. Because now you're making the serpent be a Canaanite man. Or pre that's what they before said. Canaan. That's what they said. It was a, uh, it was a, a, spiritual, a spiritual Canaanite. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. A spiritual Canaanite. Meaning, basically, like, like Israel before Israel was a line of seven. Right, yeah, right? yeah. Because they were saying it was like... And then a, the line of Esau a, was a line yeah. of Cain. So yeah. you had the other men that were there, that were created. Yeah. And he made and called their name Adam, meaning the first generation of men that were created on the earth. But, you know, the serpent, when you go into the Revelation, it tells you that the serpent, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and they ain't talking about Cain. Now, whether or not the, some of the works that were learned by mankind but came to Canaan. Persuasion to Canaan, okay, yeah. You know, proximity to the serpent in the yeah, garden. Yeah. Yeah, that's that possible. Now there's there's all there's a, but those are all speculation. You can say prove all things. That's right. A lot of stuff it tells you in the scriptures. The scripture, said, the scripture says Satan, man. Yep. Like you said earlier, who then took you how a shot up on the mountain then? Yep. Is that the same Satan? Oh, it ain't. Yep. I mean, it's like... So the devil took him up, showed right. him all the kingdoms of the earth. Was that Esau that made a helicopter and showed him? Oh, he was he dreaming. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, 